Hello Year 2. Today we are going to be um, practicing our multiplication using arrays. Now over the past few days and last week you have been practicing writing repeated addition, you've been using the sentences there are mm groups of with mm in each group. Now this is the next step. Okay. So an array is an arrangement of numbers. So remember they can go in um, rows and they can go down in columns. Um, you can even actually see arrays in everyday objects like egg boxes and bars of chocolate. So remember rows are going across, columns are going down. So here is an array showing six times four. Okay. This shows six rows, so six groups, six equal groups of counters with four in each row. That's where we were writing the sentences last week of there are six equal groups with four in each row. Now we can write this as six times five, but if we're thinking about the time symbol as the word lots of, so there are six lots of four. There we go, so the six is listed first because it tells us how many groups there are and then the four tells us how many is in each group. So six times four is 24. So an array that's showing five times two will look like this because there are five lots of groups, so five equal groups going down and then there is two in each group. Five lots of two, five times two, and the answer is ten. But an array showing two times five, so swapping those numbers around, so instead of five times two, two times five, would look like this. The rows, so there are two equal groups, and they've got five in each group, two lots of five. And both answers are ten. So remember, we were practicing repeated addition. So multiplying, so times tables, is exactly the same as repeated addition. This array, we would write three times five because there's three equal groups going down and there are five in each group. So we could write it as we've been practicing five, add five, add five. But if you look, how many fives are there? There's three. So it's three, five times. And again, like we said before, an array doesn't actually need to be counters or dots. It can be any object. You'd still do exactly the same look. So there's ladybirds there. There are three equal groups of ladybirds. And going across, there's five in each group. So three groups of five, three times.